Hi guys, I am back with this video. <laughs> this is a little side project that I have going. Uh, I watched this super, super awesome video by this super, super awesome lady. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, or at least lately, uh, you will know that I am completely obsessed with my friend uh, in my head friend online for friend in this YouTube community. Her name is Janet from RTS Scrapbooking and she showed her uh, method of putting stickers or, or um, not putting them, what am I trying to say? Uh, keeping her stickers and kind of putting them together in a way that is very time efficient so that she can be uh, so it will aid her in her scrapbooking. I figure since watching all her videos, um, I've realized that her way of thinking and my way of thinking about certain things, uh, not all of our things run concurrent or laterally in the same way because she's more of a she's more of a color scrapbook or she scrapbooks by color and well she scrapbooks in a lot of different ways she does say that but um she does put her embellishments and her paper she's got them like in different categories she's wonderful you guys should just go check out her channel <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's hard to encapsulate the way or to put into words. I cannot put into words how much this lady uh, has just been so inspiring. So let me get on with the video because this, the, the, I'm not. This is not just a video about Miss Janet, although she is fabulous. So I am going to. I'm going to have to make a note first of all that I'm going to link her channel and possibly even this video that she has of her. She calls them her. Her sticker books, I believe. I, and I think the other word that she has is uh, her color binders because she has a binder like this, which I've also incorporated from her. And she doesn't take credit for this idea. This is something that she saw. But I saw it. I've actually seen it once before with M. Barone, but she explained it so thoroughly that it made sense. I did like M. Barone's idea, I just never jumped on the chance. And I think the reason why I was so inspired by Janet was because she speaks of it. So This is an old binder, it's dirty. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, she speaks of it so thoroughly that uh, I was just inspired to not jump in head first because she says to try it out <laughs> so I dip my toes so to speak into this whole thing and what I'm talking about is these sticker binders I have her summer space shape up already uh, printed out because I am trying to keep that going especially with pulling out my uh, September mini kit Monday I made such a mess pulling that video if you haven't seen it check it out um, so she talks about, let's go on with the stickers. She talks about putting her stickers in like a multicolor and she's kind of got them like in a rainbow order. And so I tried doing the same and this is with all my, I wasn't going to jump in head first like she said. I want to try this out. And this was my first idea of using a binder. And instead of buying individual colors, I just made a rainbow binder with individual color sheets so this is multicolor this is black and white and then this is what I, I have a very hard time considering what ivory is so I just put what I thought ivory looking colors were to me um, and it's just easy to see so instead of pulling out like five different sticker sheets that come in a package each. Another sticker letter that's that was on my shelf. This was in one of my boxes. This was with my letter stickers because it was in a letter packet. This was in a sticker book. Same, same letter sticker kit. Uh, and then these were leftovers in my drawer that were taking up bulk because I had different colored stars. I just recently punched these for a video and they were leftovers. All I did was I ran them through my Xyron and instead of letting them sit here, uh, this is for my September kit. These are things that I go for all of the time. This is the cap to my camera. Uh, these are like, you know, strays. So now instead of having it all here, 
all of these die cuts and extra stickers that I didn't use up instead of having them all here or pasted on my tripod, what have you. You know, having them loose or losing them, they're all now in this, uh, my tray is now clean because I cleaned it up for, I cleaned off the dust and I cleaned off my desk on after I set up my mini kit and I pulled all these out and I just made them into stickers with the Xyron. I have this on my desk with the intention of using it as I'm scrapbooking. That hasn't worked for me. I don't think that it's such an easy fix for me because I also have to see if it fits through this hole or what have you. I managed to fit those in and that was awesome. And it's just easy. I pull out a strip. Let me see if I have one. I know I do because here it is. I found these, you know, strays in a folder and they're tiny little things so I don't wanna lose them. So it was just so easy to run them through and then I just can keep them in my binder or in this case, I'm gonna talk about this uh, notebook. So she has them by color and then she mentioned that she keeps her Valentine's Day stuff next to her reds because it's just easier. Here are some more die cuts that I had in my six by six paper and I keep my paper in a drawer. Those are tiny hearts too that I had punched out and so I didn't wanna lose those. Um, here are some more. And then this, I did the same thing with the reds and so on and so forth. She's got a video, I need to put more, either I need to put more glue or something on that one. Um, and these are just stickers that were hanging out. I would rather see them all together instead of having to put, take out, uh, like for example, pack after pack after pack after pack and go through it like 30 times while I'm doing one layout. I can just look through this as I need it. I'll keep it out to my side and it's worked wonderfully so far. Um, I've only had this for less than a month, I think, and already I can see that it's something that helps me realize what I have in my stash, in my inventory, and it's fun to look at. And it, it, it kind of brings out a creativity in you and you also see what you have. You're like, oh, I forgot I had these because these were tucked away somewhere in, behind me. So out of sight, out of mind, right? I put all these, um, I have used different glues. I haven't really used what Janet said because I'm trying to use up my stash. You know, my, my tools that I have. I don't want to go out and buy things that I don't have. So um, I managed to even do a category for the Cheeky Studio ephemera that I had because this was really bulky. It was like that thick from the letters in my box and it was taking up space. And this just hardly, it hardly takes up any space like this. And it's easier to see. And then I'm reminded that I have these every time I go through my binder. So it's been super, super helpful. This is stuff that's gonna be categorized in later or that I've found that I'm gonna put in here. And so I did this binder, right? But I wanted something more portable, I think, and more like I have that binder off to my left and that's fine, but I wanted something less bulky. And I had seen recently rewatched one of her sticker book video and it just felt like this was more approachable to me, accessible. I don't know. I don't know really. I can't verbalize my thought process, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I still had this I've had in my in my area for a while. Sometimes it's hard for me to write in pretty notebooks. Okay? And so they just sit there and I said I'm never gonna use those to write down my grocery lists because I don't like ripping out the paper. The The thickness of the page is actually decent. It's not like a regular composition book. It has a little bit of weight to it. It's not super thick, granted. But it's, I mean, it's thicker than the cheap scrapbook pages. Or, you know, it's a little bit thicker than that. And compared to the composition notebooks, this is a little bit thicker paper also. So I said, you know what? I bought this on clearance. I think it was like at the beginning of the year. 
and it's just been sitting there. So I said, it's pretty, the, the cover is durable. I'm gonna use it for a sticker sheet and it already has that, it has a plasticized, it's like plastic or something. So I figured I'm gonna try this whole rainbow situation in binder versus book to see how I like it better. So I already started and I was um, thinking about my situation and I made this book last night. It took me like all day and instead of making videos with layouts, I procrastinate and so this is what I ended up doing. <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna stress about it, I hope. And I did end up gluing all of the um, wax paper on these pages. And some there's a little bit of overhang on the wax paper. That's okay with me. But here's here's what I ended up with. This is leftover stuff. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna, I mean, I already tried gluing these and these stay on there no problem. So I'm gonna try and use all of my scraps from what I use and I'm gonna try and glue this last two sheets. I only have two sheets. So I'm gonna try it on out on these last two sheets and if it works, it works and I've not wasted my wax paper. If it doesn't, these were remnants and I don't really care about what happened to these to begin with because these would be sitting around somewhere and they might have even gotten thrown in the trash or recycling and whatever. So that's what I'm gonna try out. That was an idea I wanted to chat about. I don't think I'm gonna do the process here, but I will tell you, I have tried out different glues. I've tried out different mediums. I've tried out the, um, I already took off the, oh, well here, look, I can show you. Cause I actually have the empties. I've tried out this Martha Stewart bottle, which is empty now. I've used up the whole bottle. I wish I would have bought more of these. It's pretty good glue. The Martha Stewart brand is made by EK Success, or it was. I don't know if they still are in partnership. I don't even know if she's still doing craft stuff, but th this is who made it. So the EK Success glue was pretty good. I did use this Magic Medium. I only used this uh, on this book lately. One of the glues did yellow. I have no idea which one because I've been using them. I ended up using these two glues and I saw that they were EK Success. They came in some sort of um, like project uh, kit and I had them. So I just figured I'd use them up. And then this is that mono multi glue. I've used this also to glue stuff and that's worked out for me. I've also used lately I've, I've had this on point glue I just used recently for the last few pages and that works fine. And um, I'm, I actually almost finished that but I only have like a little tiny bit of glue. I don't even think you can see it, but it's in there. I have like a little hair of it left. So I'm gonna finish that. And then my plans for using this bottle is to use this Liquitex and fill it up in here. This was very watery. This is also at Joann's, by the way, so you can get it, I think it's like $6.99, but if you use a coupon, um, then it can be very cheap. I think it's like 40% off, and I think you can, I think I used my military discount too? I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Um, but this is, says it's a 0.8 millimeter applicator. You could possibly put this tip on a tacky glue bottle because they look about the same size. I haven't tried it because I don't want to open, well, I could. Actually, let's try it. This one's closed because it's it was in my stash. Um, so let's see if it fits. But I don't want to get rid of this bottle because this bottle is bigger than my tiny bottle that I got in the quilling section at Hobby Lobby. And I actually filled this up with another medium this time. This time I was using this for my tacky glue bot, um, stuff. Tacky glue glue? Tacky glue? I was using it for my tacky glue. <laughs> so let's try this out. Um, this is, I'm just trying this on the fly. Uh, it's a tight squeeze, but it actually might fit. I'm not sure. If not, 
No, because I said I was going to use the Liquitex. Anyway, um, actually it fit. I'm never good at putting stuff in bottles. There you go. I might even switch it to that for a while and finish up my tacky glue because I really like the tacky glue. Um, but yeah, this was pretty runny and it, if you don't if you don't have a slight touch, you'll get a whole pull of it and it's really runny and it takes a little bit of time to dry. Um, I haven't tried it on paper actually because I used most of the bottle for this anyway. So I can't really tell you what it, what it does to paper. Um, so I'm not going to switch the tip. I'm just going to use this, I think, maybe when I'm finished with this medium, which is, since I've had these sitting in my box, my glue box, um, I haven't tried any of this at all. And it's just been sitting there, and I don't want to buy more glue without having to use up this stuff. I had both of these matte mediums. I went on a matte medium frenzy when I was really looking for <laughs> gesso. <laughs> So I already learned my lesson and modeling paste, but I don't know why I bought this. I'm like, I know this is for decoupage or, or layering or art journaling. So paper, like to, to layer paper. If you hear my son, I'm sorry, he's in my room, he's playing. So I ended up putting this into this bottle. Okay, and I'm using that for now and that works well. And I'm my plan is when I'm finished with this glue, I'm gonna put the Liquitex in it. I am digressing into several subjects, but I just figured this is gonna be a chatty video, video with a B. I just mispronounced that. <laughs> and I was gonna talk about these things because they're kind of all related. I uh, tried all these different glues. You know, sh she mentions specific glues, but she also says if you have your own glue, try your own glue, and I'm sharing because some people usually have questions about if I don't have that glue, is that okay? For me, it's worked out fine. I've used those pages or whatever in the binder. They've worked out fine. I just wanted to share this little tidbit on the notebook because I have two last pages. I'm not gonna use up all this wax paper, but I have these two pages and if it works, then I know that I, can't, I don't have to throw these remnants away. They're already sized for the notebook and I can fill up the page as I go and I'll be saving money because I'll be saving these remnants. You can also use them as your scrapbook. You can pull one out and you can put your title on it or to pull extra stickers, yada, yada, yada. The list is endless with the use of the wax paper, right? Okay, so these are empty bottles that I've had. I've used this up in the last two days. This was from the binder and this book. I used the last of it. So I'm really happy with getting these out of my box because even though this is awesome glue, it's a bit cumbersome with the thing and it was just, I felt like it was just taking up space, especially when you get down to the last, what, fourth or fifth of the bottle. <laughs> I was tempted to throw it away, but I didn't and I used it all and now I'm so, it's like so satisfying and gratifying to um, empty out your bottles to the last bit. Okay, so moving on. I found the the thing that spurted these uh this prompt is that these Teresa Collins labels were in my box behind me. I've had them since this is 2014. The the when these were made. So pretty much around that time. I already split them because I know that I had two pages so one is going to go in my binder and one is going to go in this notebook and then I had two sheets of this label set I'm going to put this in this book I already have some of these in and these in the binder so I'm going to add them here and then I'm going to add some of these in this book so I want to have a variety of what I'm trying to say is I want to have a variety and have a rainbow order I probably won't add all of these stickers in here but I want a few as uh, another word that Janet says is I wanted to have a representation so if this is easier and more accessible to me and I know that I need a certain shape or maybe a bigger shape or a smaller shape whatever or if I need a, more of a variety I can put a, a line of these stickers in this book and realize that I have more in the binder so 
The other reason that I started this book is because I have a bunch of these die cuts. These die cuts have been sitting, I kid you not, in Velveeta boxes like this. Okay, I have the cardboard one and the, this one just for extra support. But this one, this yellow part, was holding all of these and I was planning to take this to work downstairs with my husband so I have something portable and I just take my bottle of uh, glue. Actually, uh, I have paper squares, right? So I'm gonna use paper squares to put them in the, in the book. Uh, I actually can't remember. I think she had them on wax paper, Miss Janet. I'll have to rewatch the video to make sure. But I wanted to do the rainbow sticker order in the front and only use about two sheets, two sides, so like one whole sheet for color. And then all the rest, so it'll be like 15 pages, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these would be my 15 sticker sheets in rainbow order, and then the rest I was planning to use for these die cuts. I want them off my desk, actually. I think I can do this. No, I can't. <laughs> there I go. So they're sitting next to me, and they're taking up space. I finally emptied one because I put the pocket in there, but that's holding my embellishments for my September kit and then here's my other box so they were taking up a lot of real estate like to here with that other box one behind the other and they're just sitting there and they're gonna collect dust there and everything and this is not normally where I keep my my die cuts so I decided to put them in the notebook so I just wanted to share that because I had another um, RTS subscriber asked me on Instagram what type of you of glue I've used if because um, I told her that I tried it out we're using the RTS hashtag by the way RTS scrapbooking hashtag on Instagram because Janet doesn't do she doesn't have any social media um, you can always comment or ask her any questions on her videos and she'll reply she's really wonderful I've emailed back and forth with her too and um, she's a super sweet lady all around so if you have questions that you think she might answer or that you think you might get you would probably get a world of information more from her than from me because she's been at this a lot longer than I have and so but since I did hashtag her a photo and I was using her her method I'm gonna just her method because um, she said it wasn't hers so uh, we got to talking on Instagram this other lady and I and I wanted to share a video and I'm gonna tag her on it so that she can see my process and instead of writing it out I think I'm more of a visual person and I learn visually better so maybe if she sees it um, I can answer more of her questions this way it's a lot easier, I think. So that's my plan for this notebook, and I just wanted to share that. And now it's gotten to be like a half an hour uh, chat of me doing this. But anyway, I will link Janet's channels and uh, and videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me or if you want to um, ask any to Janet, go check out her channel. She is awesome. Awesome. A world of information. Super sweet lady. Wonderful person. And... Um, yeah, I'm just gushing. <laughs> this is me. This is my 30 minute video of just gushing about Janet. <laughs> but I wanted to share that information. I wanted to share the info about the glue. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have, um, if you liked this video because you liked any of the information bits, um, give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, please do me a favor and at least give me a critique of why it is that you push the thumbs down, whether you don't like my voice or what I talk about or this was too long, etc, etc. I would rather a, a uh, constructive comment that would help me improve versus a thumbs down and I have no idea why you didn't like it. So if you have time to push the button for a thumbs down, at least leave me a little note and say, I thumbs downed you and this is why. 
or because I, I don't like dumbing down people when it has to do with uh, the loudness or or if there's weird noises, I would rather tell the person so that they're aware that there's something going on. Maybe they don't know what's going on in their video. And if somebody gives them a heads up, it's more constructive. I'm not even gonna go into that, um, down that rabbit hole as Janet says. <laughs> um, but just, it's a lot easier. It helps the person and who knows, in turn, you might start liking people's videos that you thumb down. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!